Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. Today, I'll be going over this week's problem of the week. For the full problem and solution transcript, you can see the link in the description of this video on our YouTube channel. So this week's problem of the week asks you to find the derivative uh, df dx given a function f of x, where f of x is equal to ln of quantity. In the numerator, we have the sixth root of x to the fifth all over e to the x times x, x minus 5 to the seventh. So this is pretty straightforward. I mean, we could just go straight forward and say, OK, we're just going to differentiate right now without simplifying anything. But we know that we have a couple handy problems of uh, properties of logarithms that we can use in order to help simplify the functions to make differentiating it easier. So I'm going to go ahead and use those properties of logs uh, to simplify our functions. So we know that law, I'm just copying this down, 6 root of x to the fifth all over e to the x times x minus 5 to the seventh. Well, this is equal to, because when we're dividing under a logarithm, we can just subtract uh, this minus all of this down here. And when we're multiplying under a logarithm, we can, just do, we can just do addition through the logarithm. So this is going to be equal to the natural log of the numerator, so 6th root of x to the fifth minus, and we're going to subtract off the entire quantity down here. We're going to subtract off this. So we have uh, ln of e to the x. And then we're using the fact that when we're multiplying, so we're multiplying here e to the x times x minus 5 to the seventh. We're just going to go ahead and add. Um, here we can add the logarithms, so we're going to add uh, ln x minus 5 to the 7. Okay, so we're subtracting out that entire quantity, so we're just, we can go ahead and distribute that negative sign. So I'll just erase this parenthesis here, distribute the negative, so these both become negative. And I can go ahead and simplify now. So we know that this is going to be equal to ln of x to the 5 sixths minus, well, ln of e to the x is just going to be x because the ln and the e cancel out. So minus x and minus. So we have a 7 here. So we're just going to go ahead and bring the 7 down uh, in front. 7 ln x minus 5. That's another handy property of logarithms, which we're going to go ahead and use on this as well. We have uh, an exponent of 5 6 there. So this is going to be equal to 5 6. We can bring that down in front. Um, ln of x minus x minus, just copying this down, ln of x minus 5. Okay, so now this is about as simple as we're going to be able to get it before we differentiate. But now we can go ahead and differentiate with respect to x. Well, there's only one variable here, so we're just going to take the derivative. So uh, d, df, where this is f of x here. This is just f of x, just simplified. So df dx is going to be equal to by the constant 5 sixths. Uh, the derivative of ln of x is going to go ahead and be 1 over x minus the derivative of x is 1 minus 7 which is a constant, times the derivative of ln of, x mi of ln of quantity x minus 5 is going to be 1 over x minus 5. And so we can go ahead and simplify this one step further if we want and say that this is equal to 5, uh, 5 over 6x uh, minus 7 over x minus 5 minus 1. So that's going to be our derivative here. We, you know, you don't really need to do that last step there. And, and from the beginning, we could have just gone ahead and used a lot of um, different properties for differentiating. We could have used you know, the chain rule and the product rule and the quotient rule, but that would have gotten pretty complicated pretty fast. So we used the properties of logarithms to really simplify everything down here, and it made it a lot easier to calculate our derivative. So our derivative in the end is going to be 5 over 6x minus, set, uh, minus 7 over x minus 5, all minus 1. So that's it for this week's problem of the week. So for more problems of the week, you can see our playlist here. Subscribe to us at our YouTube channel, you can click here, and to visit us at centerofmath.org, click this link here. Thank you for watching.